me about this girlfriend of yours. When was the last time you got with her? No, you know, I really don't give out that kind of personal information. Oh, come on. I've been in prison for the past two years. I'm tired of hearing lies about pussy. When was it? Last week? The week before? Last night. Really? Yeah. And was it fun? Yeah. Ah, Christ, this morning we got in a fucking argument. Well, at least you took care of business first. Right, Jack? Right. Man, does she have, like, big giant titties or what? I can see this is gonna be a long fucking night. Jesus, this sucks. Some maniac gets a hold of my gun, runs around the streets killing people with it. When I should be home, in bed with my girl, giving her the high hard one, I'm out here doing this shit. Roaming the streets with an olive oiled loser like you. Oh, man, if you don't like it, just leave. I could take care of Gans all by myself. <laughs> Make me laugh. You couldn't take care of shit. You know, you've been dicking me around ever since we started this turd hunt. The only thing you're good for is games. What I got out of you is nothing. I gave you 48 hours, and the clock's running. Look, maybe I don't like the way you ask me. Who gives a goddamn what you like? You're just a crook on a weekend pass. You're not even a goddamn name anymore. You're just a wop with a number stenciled on the back of your prison fatigues. And I am done fucking around. You're gonna tell me the truth. You're gonna get the shit beat out of you. <laughs> You're gonna kick my ass now? I think you've lost your mind, Cates. Put your gun back in your holster. Get in your car and let's go. Look, I'm serious, man. I'm not in the mood. I'm just gonna fucking you up out here and it's gonna be embarrassing to you and the rest of the police force. Let me explain something to you, convict. I fight dirty. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your friends came and when they did, Kate's. I was just getting ready to get in your ass. Yeah, you want to try it again? You got to call your buddies back. 
You saved your ass, guys. Told him down the stage house tonight. That's right. Matter of fact, I might just put that in my report. Yeah, I bet you will. Come clean. Or I swear to God, we're going at it again. Right here, right now. I want to know what's going on between you and Gans. Look, I've been waiting for some money for a long time. How much? Half a million dollars. You starting to see the picture now, Jack? You're on the wrong side of the law and order business, Jack. Just tell me about the fucking money. Me and some of my friends did a deal and made a sale. It's the type of money that nobody reports stolen. And some guy turns around and drops a dime on me. It's the same guy who's been going around shooting people with a certain cop's gun. So they're, they're after the money. You know you're a real bright cop. You know that, Jack? So what do you want, split it 50-50? It's not likely, Combat. So what, I get nothing? Right? Well, I believe in the merit system. So far, you ain't built up no points, boy. Oh, we'll be real good from now on, Mr. Cates. Just tell me where the fucking money is. It's in the trunk of my car. Well, all right, partner. Let's get this straight. We ain't brothers, we ain't partners, and we ain't friends. And if Gans gets in the way of my money, you're gonna be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. 